Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. It's now been exactly one year since I exclusively released the 51 photographs from the Great Pyramid's Queen's Chamber Northern Shaft, taken by the Pyramid Rover robot back in 2002. For nearly two decades, these photographs had never seen the light of day. And if I never started a search, contacting various people to track them down, well, I genuinely think they would have been lost to history, buried in an online archive for eternity. The fact that pictures from inside the Great Pyramid, the only pictures in existence of an important and very specific shaft, had never been made public is crazy. And also, it's even more crazy that me, a YouTuber, was able to find them and was the first person to publish them. I put them into a video for the first time in July 2021, and it was probably the most important work I've ever done. It felt like a real contribution to the study of the Great Pyramid. As many of you know, there were anomalies inside the shaft. There is this opening which somebody named Sibson's Window after me. Yep, I genuinely love that. And we can see scratches on the floor next to the window, as well as a lot of debris. This is all still a mystery. The angles and straight lines of the opening do look purposefully cut. It doesn't look like some kind of erosion or natural defect. Interestingly, Steve Brabin from GeezerPyramids.com pointed out the actual shape of this opening, which, in my opinion, makes it even stranger. In cross-section, it actually looks like this. I'll do a video on Steve's work with his permission in the future, but I've left links to his website in the description below if you want to explore his incredibly detailed work. There was an old tourist ticket inside the shaft as well, which was quite far up the shaft and round the corner. I have no idea how it got there. It was found within the debris, and this debris, I think, could be the remains of the door that covered the opening. Is the ticket and the opening somehow related? Does the opening actually lead to another part of the pyramid? There is what I can only describe as a pointed stick high up in the shaft, and it doesn't seem to be related to the old metal rods that we can see running through the shaft that were used to probe it many decades ago. What is this stick? Since these pictures were published, various people have got in touch, from archaeologists and well-known authors, to independent researchers, architects and bloggers, and so on. It did get a lot of people talking, and that of course is fantastic. Behind the scenes, I'm now finally putting together my own piece of work on the Queen's Chamber Northern Shaft, taking into account the ideas of those people that got in touch, and also putting together my own hypothesis. But before I complete this work, I would like to invite you, the viewers of the Ancient Architects channel, to once again view the 51 pictures from inside the shaft. I would be grateful if you can comment your thoughts, observations, ideas, hypotheses and so on in the comment section below. And if you point out anything I've not yet noticed, I will of course credit you in the piece of work I'm putting together. In terms of a construction project, the Great Pyramid of Egypt will always be the single greatest achievement by humanity. And with these pictures, as well as the work by the Scan Pyramids project, well, I'm sure the Great Pyramid still has a lot more to give. So, without further ado, here are the 51 pictures once again. Thank you for watching and enjoy.
thank you for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.